Hello everyone, we are at patch 4.5, which was the guard interface update, and there is that, and I'm going to tell you right now, not happy. Uh, it is more clicks than it was before, it doesn't address the issues of having to swap the guards out all the time, and in fact it makes it harder to plan ahead and upgrade your guards. Congratulations, you went backwards, but we get great big booby pictures on the screen now. So we might want to see if the guy that's writing this little page is a little lonely. So uh, let's, let's look at the Dominique picture change. Where's our really big booby picture there? There we go. All right. So. The arrow is hidden up here where it says Weapon Masters. It's hard to see on my big 40-inch screen. Uh, so if you don't know it's there, you just don't know it's there. The guard enhancements. Of course, they put the button there, but didn't... It says, ah, oh, it's coming soon. The hope here is that stuff like your build gear, uh, your, your, your Splendor sets, whatever... Opulus, uh, Splendor, whatever you buy, winds up over here in the guard area, and you you don't have to go swapping gear around all the stinking time to do a single task. Same thing with your research gems. Uh, that gets switched over to a... So, like, your build gear would be a weapon for uh, Plachette here, and then uh, your... You bought your gemstones, your research gemstones. Well, they would go over here on, uh, you know, Galileo. You would add his add it as a weapon to him. And then as long as you have those two guards equipped, no flip-flopping back and forth, and your account can grow without all that pain in the ass portion of it. The uh, We're really hoping for some very targeted stuff. Uh... Like, right now, you've got to decide if you're farming iron or silver. Uh, so, if you're farming iron, we, we put on the blue guard. And if we're farming silver, I'm almost done with him. Uh, we throw on the Rene Descartes here. Uh, I think I'm, you know, 20 cards away from getting him done finally. So... But the interface is just pain in the butt. So I I, I know I'm, I'm I'm working on this guy, right? So the fact that let me let me let me go back here. Confirm. Go back. So I'm working on the purple. All right. He's he's better at at uh, uh, research. And not as good as uh, Moose here on the building portion. Okay. The, you know, Moose is really a good card right up until you start spending tons and tons of silver. And I'm going to say C30, 31. Depends on what you're building and which building you're building. If you really need to save every penny and every silver that you get. And generally you do need to do that. So, but... I can't just go over here and click anywhere on this screen. I have got to change the guard to work with the guard. All right. Like I said, I'm nine away on him. Uh, and for getting him to four stars so that he gives me iron while I'm doing research. Because uh, I forget to swap this card out a lot. Uh, and the iron's my big concern. Silver's going to be my big concern for that measly 150 silver that they give us. Measly 150 silver they give us. I think a zero is missing off that number as hard as this card is to get. Measly 150k silver. The, uh, asked me to build something for 600, 6 million silver and freaking give me 150k off. The, uh, it's like I'm working at the market down in the freaking uh, Tijuana or something there. What the hell? 
all right guys uh this is a developer video as to the fact that this was not a good release uh this this was a downgrade in the interface uh buttons are hidden text are hidden and man i don't know if you guys realize it but color scheming uh one of the reasons i cannot do this on my phone is you know I, i've got bleeding up in my eyes so i use these big monitors and even then brown on brown uh let's do tan on brown on tan uh guys i, I don't know what you're thinking there that it's it's what it is uh it doesn't need to be bright yellows which makes your eyes hurt I mean, I get that for softer colors, but uh, what you're putting in the background, you need to pay more attention to. Uh, somebody used this old tan in the background in order to make it appear old and ancient, was the thinking, I'm assuming, marketing-wise. Uh, but these interfaces are a little hard to read. And I heard from about five to six people talking about the need to put their glasses on to look at their phones after this patch all right so it's not just me uh and like i said I, i've got to lean in on my desk here to, to look at the big screen and read up close here the so the guard interface swapping around you got these red lights on why is that red light on she's maxed out the uh are you trying to tell me, hey, go put on the card that's not as good? The uh, I don't know what that red light means, apparently. Because it does not mean that if I click on this card, my stats are going to go up. Because they're going to go down. The uh, I've got to have all three of those cards at, at uh, five in order to replace the fives that I've got. Just the way it is. Otherwise, I lose damage. So, And I'm not giving up damage. And the I all the effort that we put in some of these old cards, guys. The number one complaint in any game, any game, is the complete six or seven months you have somebody working on something, and then you one patch throw it away. All right. If we have some of these guards at five stars. Think about turning around and making a really good uh, essence conversion there to get rid of them uh, and convert them to weapons or tools or whatever for other guards. Uh, don't throw people's time into your game away. Uh, there, there's something to be said about not pissing off your customers or thinking that, eh, they'll spend the money anyway. Uh, you know, they... No, they won't. They, uh, they'll, they'll slowly drift off. Uh, that's why you get an attrition rate on this stuff is because you piss them off in short bursts and then that hate spreads way faster than any good you could ever do. All right. So coming back and fixing it in the next patch doesn't help you if you pissed them off in the previous patch because you're going to get four times as many people pissed off at you than you will people that go, oh, wow, look, they fixed that. Oh, I like that better. They don't care. The hate's there. The hate's easy. Uh, you cannot do this like Microsoft. You know, you, you have no ability to force things down people's throats and say, live with it till we get around to it. Microsoft has been running that business plan since the 80s. And because everybody is required to use Windows on a computer somewhere, they get away with that. So don't listen to the conventional wisdom of the software industry as a developer when the conventional wisdom is set by people who don't have to do anything properly. A good instance is go try and learn something on Google. Go into Google How To. That's a website that cannot link to their own content. Anywhere in any guide that they build for over 15 years, they have been unable to, if you say, hey, I want to create a new Gmail account. There's a how to on how to. And they'll tell you how to go back and Google it up. The, uh, if you don't get the Google link right off the bat. But if you go into their how-to guide on how to create a new Gmail account so that you can have a farm on uh, there, 
no linking. They don't say, oh, click here to link, create a new one. Because that would be easy, wouldn't it? So don't follow the conventional wisdom. It, it's just aggravating people that are home alone. They don't have to be nice to you. They don't have to say nice things. There's no one filtering the thoughts in their heads when they're playing alone. And so the thoughts get very hostile. Uh, like I said, you, that's why the hate portion of it spreads about four times faster than everybody else. And once the hate spreads, it's hard for somebody to say something nice because now they're fighting the crowd. And that becomes a social problem. You don't want to be the guy that says something different than everybody else is saying. So... Uh, I need you to be thinking about these patches and their releases and the way you're doing it. I know it's not your job to market and it's not your job to release and somebody's probably standing above you saying, I need this by this certain time. I don't care. Uh, because that's how his performance review is, is rated. Remember, the purpose is to grow the company to make more money so that you can ask for a bigger raise. Uh, track what you do. Track how you do it. Learn from this. Uh, this was a bad release. It really was. Uh, I, I hate this thing. Uh, I've got other devices I'm not upgrading because of this. The So, I appreciate it. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Bottom right hand corner. Uh, this goes on a developer's playlist of little things that we're picking on here. Uh, this was really an interface issue that just... The graphics look good, guys, but the playability of that interface is now worse than it was. Uh, should have just waited until the guard weapons were done and you should have turned around and fixed some of these things that are over here. Everybody wants that guard interface to be like the airship interface. Or if you're going to do this tool thing, for it to not be KOA. Because the complaints wave has hit us before the patch has all right and waiting for the complaint patch is not making playing guns of glory any more fun the uh i i do my best to stay away from what you do in koa the uh, i know there's a lot of similarities there and but i also know it's different graphics different teams but this is about working on the core, and the core was bad. So the graphics you're overlaying on the core doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, you've already done those graphics, so now we got to talk about that core clickability, uh, which means from what I can see in that interface, you're going to have to move all them graphics around. Uh, it, it just, like I said, wasn't good. Uh, you may be able to do it in the weapons interface tab. Add another, add, or add another third tab so that I can actually work with my guards without having to swap them out. Uh, because I have to grow my guards before I use my guards. So let's think about that. Uh, from what I see right now, not good. Not happy with this. And like I said, uh, let's let's wonder and worry about the uh, the upgrade wave causing grief before you even get the upgrade. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you.